Welcome to my channel and thanks that you continue to watch this very long series about all my coloring books and all finished pictures. This series I want to start from Tamislav Tomic. Tamislav Tomic is one of my favorite artists and I always hope that one day he decide to do another book, but for now I am quite happy with both books which I have here, even if to color in these books never was an easy path for me. I always adore how they look, I love to watch works by other colorists, but when I start to color them myself it's always a struggle, I always color, quam, color them very slowly and on many pictures I think that some of the elements I colored not in the right color or maybe sometimes I didn't work enough on contrast. Also I have Croatian editions which are quite good but unfortunately they are not as good for water-based media as Dutch editions so I use only pencils and sometimes I think that for me it would be much easier to be able to use watercolors first and then to work on the details with pencils. But anyway, let me show you what I managed to color and it will be a good reminder for myself because recently I totally neglected these beautiful books. Let's find my first picture here and let me adjust my camera. I hope that everything is nicely visible. So this one definitely is one of my best works here. I still remember how long it took me to cover this background with pencils and that's why I say that with watercolors it would be quicker and easier and you know when you do something quite boring like this background in the end you don't feel so much uh, joy when you finish you only think that okay finally I managed to do it and that's not the feeling which I want to feel when I do pictures in this book, so I need to think something about backgrounds, maybe to try using acrylic paints. Anyway, this one I definitely love. I love how I did unicorn, it's in traditional unicorn colors, so it's white, but I managed to do shading and I added a little bit of yellow reflections on the white skin and also gray shading. And I do love that I did a golden mane and golden horn. Most of all, I am proud of my leaves. You know that I am a person who prefer to color uh, flowers, landscapes, so much more realistic pictures comparing to fantasy one. And that's why I am proud that here I went out of my comfort zone. I did these unusual leaves and these dark leaves. So everything looks quite nice and you can even say that it's in limited color palette. This is also quite unusual for me. In the beginning I wasn't sure in, about this leaf and when I did last review I um, mourned about it so I complained. But now I think that it's not bad. The rest of the brighter leaves helps to mask this not very... Uh, not very good selection of colors for the remaining leaves. And I do love how I did Fairy. She is surrounded by the light halo, so I tried to create effect that she is glowing. And I think that I managed to do it. She is small, but still very nice. Let's move. My other problem with this book is that I already saw so many beautiful pictures by other colors that I colored the whole book with my eyes and probably my desire to color it with pencils is lesser. So when I, unfortunately I have good memory and when I look at some picture I always remember all beautiful pictures made by other colorists. So it's difficult for me uh, to start creating something myself. When I color something more rare, not so popular, it's much easier with color choices because I don't want to repeat completely and I want to do something for myself, but with some pictures it's really very complicated. At least this one I did in my own style, I turned it into a winter page and many people do it like 
fall season or even summer season, but my house is covered with snow and I did this quite unusual red and grey color on the bark. Probably if I decide to color something here next, there will be these underwater pictures. I really love them. And I am ashamed that here I have this picture which I started a couple of years ago, December, I think, yeah, two years ago, and never finished. This one I do love. Here I wanted to create impression of the hot August day, and by adding this maybe clouds, maybe yellow bushes behind the main characters. I think that they managed to do it with the bright sky and with the yellow color which I added. I did it for my birthday several years ago, maybe four already, but I still like it. And for me it's still August picture. Another one which I colored for very long time. It's this spread with dragon. I started it quite easily using Prismacolor pencils here for the columns and then switching to the pre polychromos which helped me to color better all those flowers, grass and I really enjoy this tree which I did. For me it's quite magical looking like something from fairy tales. Then I did the dragon and that's where I started to have some doubts in my color choices. Uh, maybe everything started to be too colorful, even in my taste. So I made break, main, then maybe after a month of such break, I returned to this page. And first I decided to limit amount of colors on the sky. So the sky is polychromos ultramarine and ultramarine light just two colors and then I did this very light pastel flowers. I think that they added some lightness to this page that's because of their very light pastel colors. So I am glad that despite all the problems and doubts I managed to finish this spread. Beautiful one. That's one of my favorites in this book. Oh here here again I struggled and everything was not bad. I even like how I did horse here. Not much full, but at least shading on the body is good. I really try to show that um, the skin is glossy. And I do love how I did mane here and tail. And I even love the violet background with tiny blue flowers. Then when I did this huge yellow flowers, I realized that probably that wasn't the best choice because this pastel yellow first I intended to use for the wings. So when I did flowers I realized that I have problem with the color of the wings. Well, here I resolved my problem by looking at many reference pictures and I found beautiful butterfly uh, and it's real butterfly from South America. And she has this very nice color combo of aquamarine blue or aquamarine green together with cream and orange. I decided that maybe for my horse it will be quite a nice color combo and I used it here. Sometimes it's good and helpful when I start to do color from the background and it's usually my way to color from the background than the main character, but sometimes if you did a mistake on the background, it's quite difficult to select a new color for the main image if you already had in mind colors for the main image. But that's coloring, it's creative process, so sometimes you need to change your initial idea to try new color combos. Ah, another unfinished project and again it's a shame on me, but when I colored it, it was also a long process. And then I was expecting for neo color crayons, and I was thinking that I can make a break maybe for months until my box of neo color crayons arrive, and then I will finish. 
And of course my crayons arrived, I wasn't sure which color to use, so initial uh, it doesn't help me to resolve this problem and I didn't return to this page at all. Maybe one day, because I still have my videos, that's why it's very helpful to have YouTube channel if I want to finish all the remaining details, I can always watch my videos, which color combo of prismas I used to finish and maybe to do the background, because what I already did I do love, but honestly I totally forgot about this spread. Oh, the next one was one of my first pictures here, and I think that here I love almost everything apart from the neon green color on the dragon, maybe using darker color would be much more favorable for the whole page, but the frame, the wings, the tiny fairy, I do love them, apart from this probably chartreuse and spring green on his body, not my favorite colors. It's like a giant lizard, not a dragon, sorry guys. This one I definitely love, at least here I am pretty content with everything. I remember that it also was extremely long coloring. Even on the rooster I spent long times doing proper shading on all color combos on the yellow feathers on the blue black feathers on the blue on the green blue and dark blue feathers so it was long but here from the very beginning I selected my color palette and I maintained it and I think that He's very beautiful, so I am quite happy here. Here on the grapes I experimented how to do shading, which color to select for, to show those shadows between grapes, how to do highlights, and I wanted to practice both on uh, purple and on green grapes, so that's why here I decided to do them in a couple of colors. And you know that baskets, they also have quite complicated structure and I tried also to work on the lights and shadows to, so, to show this texture. Long coloring, but I think that this spread is definitely one of my best in this book. Another one quite old work, you can see that it was time when I didn't have Posca, so I never masked uh, masked black lines even on the clouds, but still I love what I got here. You know that I love to color knights and especially their armor, so here I really enjoyed these parts where we have armor on the horse and on the knight. I was inspired by the beautiful medieval book from France. Uh, I even made a separate video about this book, so I will try and leave you in the end of this video link to the book which inspired me for the color palette of, for this page. It, I think that everything else also is quite good. Girl, because of her intense magenta coat and yellow dress, she also stands quite nice against the pastel color of the uh, sky. Here I hope you can see that I did sky here with simple soft pastel, but then with eraser I did those arrays of light around the magical box. And now here is a light effect of shining, so at that moment I thought that it was a really very creative idea. I was quite proud of myself. Well, the next one. The left one I do love, everything was quite good, I simply switched between prisma colors and polychromoses. I think that coloring video is on my, probably for both pages are on YouTube channel, so if you are interested, go to the playlist of Tomislav Tomic, you can watch them. For the sky I used all famous colors of prismas, their cream, their great lavender, uh, lilac colors, clay rose, so I think that everyone can recognize them here. And of course all those parma violet and a blue lake on the, on the clouds, many of my favorite color combos. Then on the reindeer I switched to polychromoses. First I was thinking about doing him 
like a winter page, Christmas page, but then I looked at flowers and at the apples and I decided that now it will be summer page. Here I do love many elements, maybe everything just is too colorful. And I do love fishes, I, I at least try to color them in pairs, so we have a couple of fishes in similar color, color palette. I definitely love my uh, black pearl, she is, <laughs> it is, it's quite nice and shiny. Again, I'm not sure what you can see on the screen, but video is available on the channel. The only thing where I already was tired from this page is the tail and scales of the mermaid. Maybe here I had to do them in just one color and in such way she would attract more attention, she would, won't be slightly lost among the very bright fishes. But I hope that at least with her black hair she still attracts attention of the viewer. I decided to, to do these dark frames around both pictures to unite somehow both pictures in one spread. I think that this one, one was quite easy, because from the beginning I knew which color combos I wanted to test on the birds. I divided them again into two groups and they are um, also colored in my favorite color palettes. A lot of blue, a lot of lilac, lavender, a little bit of golden elements. Most of all, I think that I am proud of the eggs and the idea that we have one golden and the rest one is more like realistic looking and then of course with red colors I tried to make the bird visible that she is important part of the page, the royal mother bird and I do love this spread even if it's simple and I think that I also use soft pastel for the background quick and easy way Many of my old works. I know. I don't know. Maybe when I was younger, when I just started to color. Oh no! When I got this book, I was afraid to color it for my maybe a year. Then I slowly started to color here and colored a lot. And then I again I got some kind of mental break about this book that I need to color them better. That I need to try better to create more better work on such beautiful line art, so for some time I didn't color in it at all. And even now when I think about doing something in Tomic, I prefer to select something from Villain Sun. It's easier for me. Anyway, again, of course I needed to color night, but here we also have beautiful girl night, I believe, and the mouse also is adorable. It was interesting to think about colors for the griffon. Sorry guys, I don't know how... In Russian we call it griffon, but maybe somehow it pronounced slightly differently in English. But this magical bird, I do love how I combined colors. A little bit of black cherry with more wine red colors. Together they created good color combo with black. And that was my first page in Tomislav Tomic, which I did because I decided to participate in Color Along in Facebook group, where we colored in pairs together with selected page and created different color palettes for one page. So that was my first project and I am extremely happy that it helped me to start doing something. Well. The line I also colored for one of my birthdays, because my birthday is in August, so I am a lion, and I decided that I want to do it. Of course, I was inspired by a beautiful lion from Venice. They have exactly the same shape and wings, shape of the wings, so I think that that's where Tamislav also got his inspiration. And then I liked it so much that I decided that I need to finish the whole spread. Maybe it's too colorful, but at least at that moment I really enjoyed it. I do love how I did leaves here and many other details. Some of the elements, maybe like her dress, 
are a little bit too bright, so they distract attention from the lion. But because of the frame, I still think that he is not lost. So this spread I also consider as successful. And I think that it's all here. And next we have Villainson. In Williamson, I decided that to do the whole background with, poly, with Faber-Castell polychromos is a perfectly good idea, <laughs> and I did it. I think that the background looks quite nice. I do love how these pencils cover paper here, so it's probably just a couple of colors, black and dark green, and I think that I selected it because it creates good contrast to the pink yellow flowers, which from the very beginning was one of my first color choices here. And then I did birds. First I did some of them, then I decided that maybe I need to do another variety. Probably we can hear it. We can see that these three birds, they have slightly different colors. Not so much, just a little bit more orange because I started to be afraid that page will be too colorful. And I do love the effect of the wings, which I did here with on fairies. I hope that wings also have this light glowing effect. The next one I absolutely love from the very beginning, this picture, it attracted me. Everything is quite adorable here. I do love both gnomes here, the hedgehog is very nice <laughs> and the idea is quite lovely and I, do to, and I do love to color mushrooms so I colored it somewhere probably last uh, autumn season so that's why, why colors for the leaves I already start, used in autumn uh, palette they are yellow and orange but anyway, I still love this one and I think that here I managed to do something nice. Here I was sure that I totally messed it up. I started it probably for Mermaid two years ago. I was happy with my corals, with my background. And then I started to color the Mermaid. And somehow, even if I selected quite intense purple magenta colors, she still was a little bit lost and I still had to color all the fishes so I realized that this page again will be a mess of colors extremely motley and that I don't know how to attract attention to the mermaid because she is a focal point here. I hope that this orange which I added with marker with pencil on her tail and scales helped me a little bit but still I would prefer somehow maybe to do another color for her hair. I My problem was that I didn't like what I got, but I didn't know how to improve it, and it's bad. On fishes I tried to use muted colors and to limit the amount of colors used, but still there was such a huge amount of them that I simply can't color them in one color or in one palette only. So it was a struggle, but at least I'm happy that I didn't abandon it and I decided to finish it. Some of the color combos like corals I still love and I will be using them on my next pictures. That's why I say that probably I need to do another underwater design, because I want to learn how to do properly underwater kingdoms from the Mislav Tomish books. Well, the next spread I remember it wasn't it wasn't enough problem, so this one was quite easy. I wanted to do a reindeer with light fur, and I did it, and with this magical uh, antlers with golden leaves. So that was my initial idea, and all other colors, of course, I selected to create a nice contrast. And you know that I love lavender, violet purple colors and you can see a lot of them but <laughs> as usual something happened and I didn't notice 
the border there was a bush behind the behind the reindeer i hadn't noticed that borders and i did the whole background as sky but i don't think that it's something important anyway i think that the deer it has this glowing effect and i even added a little bit of yellow highlights on the fur to create impression that golden antlers they have the glow effect from the golden leaves so i was thinking a lot about this one this page when i got the book i wasn't very impressed maybe i didn't like the face of this tree probably yeah probably tree and then i decided that it's it can be good for doing something again for fall season that's why again i did all those yellow orange leaves and i do love this type of buildings which we can see in germany this Fachwerk buildings. Again, I don't know how to pronounce in English. Anyway, I did the buildings, I did the tree, and then it was a problem with the background and with the tiny magician, because I don't know if you can see it here. He is reading and he is so tiny. Then I decided that maybe I need to invent again some story behind the page. And I decided that it's a fall, old tree. And when magician is reading the spell, it start to turn from fall into spring. That's why I did green branches around the face and the, I even added tiny white flowers. So maybe it will be more, uh, not so old, more young after this spell. And with glitter yellow and glitter green, I also added some dots here because it was really very complicated how to do the background and to attract more attention to the tiny magician. Anyway, it was fun to invent this story and I do love that it has something personal, something from myself because this transition from back from fall to spring, that's why I love this page. Well, I think that I have just two pictures. Let's start from the less successful here. I wanted to practice some unusual color for the walls. That's why I decided that this castle, castle of orchids, will be of this lavender, gray lavender and gray colors. It, actually, it wasn't bad. First, I was thinking about something more calm, but then I did this extremely bright orchids. For me, they started to look a little bit dangerous with such colors, so I'm not sure what, what will be the destiny of this girl. Anyway, when I just did it, I was extremely unhappy with this one. For a long time, I wasn't sure which color to select for the background, then my father helped me to select this yellow-orange color to finally finish this page. And I still think that orange, it looks nice with all lavender and violet. But in the beginning I didn't like it, but now I think that it's actually, at least it's original, guys. But that's what, what can I say, it's original. But now let me show you picture which I absolutely love. Again, first I had doubt, I had doubts about very simplified backgrounds. That's where I would prefer to be able to do nice fluffy clouds with watercolors because with pencils it wasn't um, I wasn't very successful in doing clouds exactly as I mentioned them. But the dragon I do love. I tried to show how scales of the dragon, uh, how they turn into this building which adore his head. I decided that I will be using two different color palettes for part of the scales. I used more beige and golden and even a little bit of very pastel green and the rest is much more intense with all those emerald green and black colors. In the end, I did this violet eye and I think that it attracts attention so it's not lost even with this very detailed, very 
with so many details on the architecture, I was a little bit afraid that I won't be visible, but now I think that I managed to do it. Apart from probably this area on the background, I do love this page. Next, I want to show you a book by Kinoka Craft, and it's one of the most beautiful coloring books I ever purchased, so I'm really happy that I have it in my collection. But of course, you know, when I have one of my favorite books, it always means that I colored just a few pictures here. And my first one was this page again with Gryphon and Angel. Here I remember that I did it immediately after I got my first uh, polychromos pencils. I realized that in just one shop in Ukraine it was possible to purchase open stock Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. It was four years ago. Now it's much easier to purchase them. We have them everywhere. But at that moment it was a rare thing and I purchased several green pencils because at that moment I colored flower year mostly. So I was a hu in huge need of greens. And I decided that here I can also test them. I combined here several uh, Prisma colors for the dress of the angel and several polychromos to be able to color the background around all those golden leaves. As usual, it's extremely colorful, even motley, even in my taste, my usual problem, especially with all my old works. But still, I have a very fond feelings toward it. I do love colors which I selected on the angel's dress, of course, without black lines, with some Posca pen. It would be more um, transparent, more divine, <laughs> angelic, not so... Uh, not like simple fabric, but at that moment I didn't use this trick with delighting black lines. So even with such color palette, I still love this one. What do I have next? Here I have a mermaid, which I did two years ago for the mermaid. And it was a return after a long time to this book. I started as usual from the background. I wanted a very dark background but because I already knew that main colors for the mermaid will be golden. And everything went well until I realized that colors which I selected for this quite big parts of the underwater world for the corals, they were quite close to the gold which I wanted to use on the tail of the mermaid. I didn't want to base my gold on a very bright yellow, I wanted muted gold. So it was similar to the colors which I already used. But when I added lavender, then when I added a lot of white uh, pen around the scales, I think that it turned out quite well. But most of all, here I love the upper page. Using a white pencil on top of the dark prisma colors, it's always create quite nice effects. So here I added the highlights on the sky, then those slightly greenish highlights on the water, then her in her arms she has stars and I covered them with metallic colors so they are shiny. I was afraid when I colored it, but in the end I think that everything turned pretty well. Page which I colored very quickly and which I love probably the most among my finished pictures here, it's this winter rose. I wasn't quite aware about the story and it was picture which was created by Kinoka Craft as a cover for the book. So I simply mm, learned a little bit about this book, trying not to look too much at Kinuka work, trying not to repeat. And I think that everything went quite well here. I wanted to do extremely bright and rich color for the rose, so I selected this rich red and everything else, of course, made in cold colors. I think that this 
ray of uh, probably stars or something else, something shiny in her hair. It looks quite nice, to, especially to, to go together with golden crown. I do love this owl. Anyway, I did this last year and it was unfortunately the last time when I touched this book, so it's a shame. I definitely need to color something here. And I have plans. I just need to, sele uh, to select one of two pictures. They are slightly similar in this book where Angel trying to... <laughs> uh, let me show you better. It's some, somewhere here. With Angel and Snow. Here. I'm thinking about this one on January. For January coloring. And I have similar page again with Angel and Snow in another book. So I just have to decide which one to do. And let's move here to my last finished project here. After success with Mermaid, I decided to try another coloring in this book. And I selected Beauty and the Beast. I think that when I selected it, I was attracted to the <laughs> dress of the beauty. I do love this uh, medieval style of the dress, even if color is not exactly traditional for medieval dresses, but I needed this bright yellow uh, for the beauty to stand uh, against the colors which I selected for the sky. But then I struggled a lot with the uh, beast. It has complicated line art from the beginning. It's difficult to say where is the fur or where is the uh, fabric costume, but I think that I managed to do it. Many details and when I looked at those roses, I also decided to do them in two colors. I was thinking about famous war of white and red rose, so I have here red and white also. Good book, but uh, because of the so many details, it's a little bit complicated. You need to be careful about your color planning. Also, I want to try using watercolors here. It's one-sided and paper has good quality, so maybe it will give me another helpful push if I start to combine media here. I definitely want to color here, but I'm not sure that all pictures I will be able to finish with pencils only. So I need to do paper test and then maybe I will be able to color here more frequently. And another book, it's a book which definitely printed on paper suitable for watercolor, but also a very detailed and quite complicated. That's probably one of the few books which I wouldn't recommend for the beginners. It's by Josephine Wall. It's from one of my favorite publishers, Bill Angels. I do love quality of their books. But when I looked at her pictures, I realized that, oh, it's challenging. For now, I have only two finished projects here. Here I have pictures. I decided to do this zodiac sign to practice how it's possible to color here. Because when they converted original paintings by Josephine Wall, they used a lot of black lines to outline all the details on the original paintings. And sometimes it's probably even too much. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Here I mostly used watercolors, only for tiny details. Probably somewhere I used pencils, but probably 90% here is made with watercolors. The second one is much better. I did it a couple of years later. I feel felt much more confident in my skills with watercolor. I combined pencils, watercolor normal, like this one in the friend blue for the sky, then a little bit of uh, watercolor with uh, perlescent effect here around the globe, and even um, watercolors which have white pigment into them, so they are semi-transparent and they create beautiful pastel colors on her, around her head. On the body of the angel, of course, I used again famous Prisma color pastels. Lavender, lilac, gray lavender, blush pink. And then with a lot of white paint, I tried to delete all the white lines. I think that here it was successful coloring. And 
After this one, I feel much more confident in doing something in this book. At least paper definitely allows to use any media you want to, so at least it worth to do something here to work on the good paper. And the picture which I also want to do. It's slightly similar similar to the previous which I show you showed you in Kanoka in Kinoka Craft. Again Angel, again Snow. But here I definitely can use watercolors, so that's why I have some doubts to do both of them or to select for this coloring one of them. I need to think a little bit more and I hope that in January at least one of them I will color. Next, let's switch from beautiful, sweet fantasy pictures to something different. And it will be beauty of horror. I have just one book by Alan Robert. I do love his books because they are absolutely original and sometimes when day after day you color something sweet, bunnies, <laughs> cats, some beautiful landscapes, sometimes you definitely need a break and that's where beauty of horror can be very helpful, especially because quality of the book is, for me, it's outstanding. I do love how many of my pencils, even colored softs, work here and I do love to use watercolors and neocolor crayons here, <laughs> but I know that sometimes these videos, they are not very popular. Not all people are big lovers of this book, but from time to time it's definitely quite refreshing. For now I have this cemetery and I did it because I wanted to practice more with my neocolor crayons. I think that I managed to do quite nice cemetery. Most of all I am proud of all those glows and reflections that those tombstones, they have a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow on them and on the ground also. It looks mysterious, it looks sinister, so I think that I like it. This one I definitely love. From the beginning I wanted to do this effect that they will be surrounded some kind of smoke and I wanted them to be in limited color palette. For me it's difficult but I think that I managed to color them. I did a very simple acrylic background and the frame. If you want to, video is available on my YouTube channel. Again I have playlist. It's called Beauty of Horror so you can see how I achieved this effect simply by adding a lot of water to white watercolor and to white neocolor crayon and I achieve this effect. I did not so many pictures here. I did this one and again here I experimented on the background. First neocolors, they created matte surface with all those intense indigo, uh, violet blue, then going to the more greenish blue color and then on top I sprinkled a lot of perlescent watercolor. The page I see, I remember that I did with polychromous pencils and maybe a couple of prisma colors for the skin. I tried to select here less disgusting pictures to color. Not very sinister, but I want to do this one. I wanted to do it for this Halloween, but didn't have enough time. So maybe I will try to color it somewhere in the beginning of the next year. <laughs> Definitely not in December. And I am sure that I have another one finished here, because I remember that I did it with color softs. Here I have my clown. And of course I was inspired by Pennywise. I was surprised that even color softs can be quite nice on this paper. They covered paper without problems and I was able to layer them a little bit. And with their rich and bright colors that was exactly what I needed here. So the Pennywise also is not bad.
from the same publisher I also have this Princess Bride as you wish coloring book. Old works here are very old, but still if I decided to show you the whole collection, then I will show you everything. Here I simply tested pencils and I think that I used something budget here on this title page. You know my bad habit on testing pencils on the title pages. Next I realized that definitely not all the pictures here I want to color so many repeated patterns, not for me. So I was much more attracted to the pictures where we have characters. <laughs> this page I always show when I start to complain about quality of pictures. So that's a very bad example of adult coloring book. Also, those ugly clouds for me it's really what you don't have to put into adult coloring if you want to create problems to your future <laughs> uh, colorist. Then okay, but. Uh, that's definitely one of the worst background I have in my books. And what I did here is this portrait. Again, I think that I masked some of the terrible patterns behind the portrait and now all the attention goes exactly to the face. I think that it wasn't bad, but when I did it, I was so afraid to do skin, especially the skin of the man. I was a little bit more confident on fabric, so I decided to concentrate on metal parts, on fabric. Well, maybe I will return to it one day. And the second finished picture here is this one. I think that I selected it because I loved flowers. Everything else, the pair in the center, it was secondary. I was grateful that on this paper I was able to use watercolor, so a lot of watercolor for the uh, fabric of the drape, of the curtain, of the door and walls. And then I, I think that even for his a clothes I used watercolor first and then pencils for the frame also. Probably if I would use more Posca pen it would look a little bit better because this book it has excess excessive amount of black lines without them or paying a little bit attention or spending more time on masking them everything would look a little bit better. Maybe now when I a little bit more experienced I can return to this book. Here I filmed a video about how to um, color um, various magical potions for Halloween. So on my channel there is a video how to color skeletons, how to color uh, ghosts and many other things for Halloween. And I used this page for practice. I did a couple of potions and <laughs> potions I do love. And that's the page which I want to finish. Not the not the page with portraits. I also have a nice page here with a landscape with the castle. This one where I want to practice how to use acrylic paints more for landscapes. Anyway, that's all I have in this book. I think I wanted to do this kiss. <laughs> I think that one one time I tried to select pictures for what to color during February for St. Valentine's Day and I almost started to do this one but then I was confused that to do for St. Valentine's Day picture with the, with the end probably it wasn't the best choice so I selected something else. I remember it was quite funny. Well, I hope that this video also was not very boring. I think that Tomislav Tomic is quite popular, so if it's still possible for you to get his books, I definitely recommend. I'm not sure if he create new books, so if it's still possible to get his old books, I, of course I can recommend them. And I hope that Kinunga Craft definitely will be much more frequent guest during 
next year on my channel because it's also beautiful art and pictures they have different subjects so they are not boring and they also are not big so you can color them in a relatively small time and i do love that they have those that medieval touch similar to the Botticelli paintings or Pre-Raphaelite paintings everything which i really love so that's why i definitely will try to keep kinuka craft somewhere close to my working table to be inspired and to color in it more frequently thanks for watching and until the next series